I noticed, I started to notice that my life was engineered. And from there, you know, I studied a little bit my past and uh, how especially relationships are engineered, but also how this system kind of use your personality or who you've been, you know, in, in eons. Like, you know, for example, if you have like obsessive types of um, disorder, well, the matrix system is going to sort of try to trap you through that like you know like if you have to be exhaustive or things like that and that's time consuming so I noticed a, a, a lot of that and how our mind control was like dictating a lot about my choices and, and behavior you know and then how how all the wiring is how you know I notice I, I have implants you know and I it's, they are really hard to navigate sometimes especially like the savior implants you know because it's like your whole body which get activated and you know you have to overcome that artificial reaction so I also started to notice that there was some individuals that were more like having a gray overlay you know like they and they would especially become alive if I was really engaging with them. But I also have learned to look at them when they were not aware that I was looking at them because they, they are totally different. And I did that for some family members or, you know, sometimes I, I arrive at a moment and they're not aware I'm there or, or I, I observe them from a certain point you know, and they are not aware. And the, the, the impression that I got from them is totally different. So I became aware that there was there was such a thing, you know, I read about the organic portals probably like about eight, eight years ago when I was researching the fringe topics, but I could not really like apply it directly to my reality. But now with the work I've been doing, because we all have like these dormant abilities, I mean, I have still so much more, but uh, at least some of my clairsentience is, is, is kind of, more awake now so it's my body which will tell me okay in this encounter this person there is not the spark of, of fire creation or um and and i would say that for like 80 percent of the, the interaction i have i can say now there is like a a percentage of blurriness where i'm not sure where it's more complex where the signature could be or could be other things, you know, like entities or things like that, possession or or like a, an empty envelope, but with something inside or multiple things inside. So it gets it gets more complex. And also when it directly plugged to my mind control, then and my mind control is going to be my 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 wiring, my programming is going to be different from from someone else. So I also noticed that you know there was a lot of memory wiping. Uh, that I had drugs in my system that I need to flush and some days are better than others. Uh, I also did a, a test with like urine and, and some types of residue with a peer. Um, and I've, I realized, you know, some, some months I'm better or some weeks I'm better at remembering or not. Like sometimes I, I you know how it goes, you have like an idea in your mind, you're going to get something in your house, but you get sidetracked. And then you remember or not if you lose track of, of your thought then you know sometimes it's also indicated that you have like a lot of drugs in your system kind of causing you like this kind of blurriness where it's even hard to remember your progress uh and you know even we were talking about that even hard to remember how much you need to set boundaries you know with other you i kind of get into this state where I, I forget I become a little bit more marshmallowy and it's because I forget because once I've been gifted with like the visual inside of my programming and it was like you know like all these wires and cables like you know like it a bit labyrinthic you go there and then you're faced with four choices which one you're gonna take and and so they use definitely that. Also the ego, they use your own shadow part, you know, when you're going to be reactive and this kind of thing. Dark alien faction, like at the top, that's what it is. Then they use mind control of the one in incarnation or the holographic kind of players here. And the holographic players are really easy to access. Now the, the spirited ones are also generally quite 
easy distracted uh, sometimes, but they, they, they usually have a, a, a bit of a better ethics or morals, but, but not all of them. So um, they use a lot of distraction, right? Uh, like these timeline enemies. And I've, I'm just um, facing a big episode of them messing heavily with my timelines, my timelines plural, where I was building things and then it like, collapse at like four different points then you know like it's like and I had that in different stages in my life I had that with, with my sudden return when I was 20 28 29 it felt like and then it's really heavy because you have like to find the strength in your core and rebuild everything uh so they they use also backdrop easily like they can appear like you know you're gonna go to the woods at that time they easily play place a handler there uh, for you, you know, someone you don't really want to see or talk with. And even if you're kind of clear in your body language that you're busy, they, they, they kind of overwrite your, your own boundaries. And, and then the, the handler thinks it's very, you know, whether they are backdrop or spirited, shattered spirit, fire creation that are, you know, kind of consumed by their own also shadow like rage or uh, and then they, they project it. So you have all of this. Uh, and I find that sometimes, you know, the, a lot of distraction is going to lead you to be at a certain time, at a, at a certain geographic place. And then you're going to encounter this person who is like a big distraction. Or usually, you know, they, they have the power to manipulate, to, to create distraction. Then we are the ones who decide if we buy for the distraction, if we see through or not. And I think that also ties with uh, savior programming because I, I was having this thought the, the last few days that if I'm constantly answering my savior programming, I'm never going to be at the right moment at the right time where it's beneficial for me because I'm busy with these low frequency timelines. So I'm, I'm really trying to work on that and, and uh, wanting less to, to rescue or even help others if they don't ask for it right but then it gets really empty and you have to face the emptiness and so i think we all have to find also a, a balance with with all of that together you know it expands and you know but but i learned that it's kind of rare and also the seduction kind of get in you have also some people like backdrop who are friendly to you but then it's the appropriate like level of distance with them because they can be friendly and helpful, but then they really quickly can become a distraction if you bond too much with them or, or, or listen sometimes to their suggestion because they're usually going to plug you to more simulation and, you know, just it's look like a good idea. Like, for example, I've been invited to talk about food in, in Brussels, but then I didn't go because why? why would I go? It's like a randomness in the system. And probably all the person there would be backdrop. I would be really lucky if there was like one spirited person. And then with that time, you know, building like a conference or, or whatever, what can I do? And uh, I, I really try to find the other fire creation spirit. That's also why I, I, I create content online in the hope, you know, like they're going to find me somehow with the, the frequency, the work I put out, uh, but it, it's also not that easy because I, I get a, a, a lot of different proposition uh, coming and, and it's rarely in my, in my, in my higher interest. So I, I noticed that we have like this kind of cover life, you know, like this daytime life that we have is kind of a cover also for things that are happening on the ground for the, the way our abilities and our, our our consciousness is using the project and then we don't remember but somehow we can feel that there is like this strangeness and, and something else in how we feel in the morning sometimes we feel good sometimes we don't and, and why is that you know so um so i find that they do the like the architects they do the best so we we never question that kind of cover life that kind of surface life right and and they try to, for us to be tied to the 3d aspect you know like you know, build a family or be distracted by the food program or relationship pro program and all these engineered relationship. You know, so, some of my friends, I, I generally have met, met them in cult, you know, like they were also handled in this hive mind space or in this project that we find ourselves together. But it's also rare that people are, have this level of awareness, you know, 
because because we forget because we don't we are programmed not to question things you know even things that happen to us like yeah. we're kind of there is this programming like just don't question like and it, it takes really hard work to come back to it and question it okay what happened there you know and I, I'm someone I work with my old recording of session and I go back to them I dig deeper into what was happening you know and with years, it's become clearer, you know, especially when it was with a lot of handlers, you know, how it was micromanaging my life and keeping me into some form of programming. It's not easy, especially when you have like these things like collapsing, you know, you have like these forces working against you and you're not in control of what's in, you know, what's in other game or source player mind, you know, and they have their own kind of programming and if you know, and they are not always aware. So, so they kind of can fall for, for maybe not all of the operation, but they will fall for some of them or their, their, their sub personality and their alters. Cause if you fire creation, you have like a lot of alters to integrate and, and, and most of the people are not even aware they are multiple personality. And, and I had strange episode. That's how I kind of had confirmation. I always was interested in looking into these topics, but if you're not aware you have alters, you, you might think that all of what you experience is real. You know, if you have animosity towards a, a person who might be like the greatest deprogrammer <laughs> because your alters have this, are programmed to be kind of hostile or, or doubtful or uh, twist things in your own heads or, you know, you can have entity whispering things or, so it's really tricky and, and so, and in a way, we, we kind of need each other to kind of build something kind of more fun to be to be in, right? And and with other high frequency beings. So I think that that's what I aim to to build. You know, like a, a sort of community, but which would be a, a bit different than a family. You know, with other people kind of making similar choices to me, understanding, not falling for. All the engineering especially relationship wise but then you have to have you you have to meet these people for sure they exist in the reality but how do you meet them because they, you have a lot of forces going against you for you never to be there at the right time at the right moment so you meet your your spirit tribe the one who's, who are going to be beneficial to you but you, you are brought like more of the handler type, the low frequency, the ones who are going to cross your boundaries, who, who are going to vampirize you. And we also have like this vamp, vampire uh, like programming type into us. So we kind of have to stay conscious as we navigate and be respectful and, and also be ready for whatever erupts because uh, it's always surprising and just go, always going to show more, more programming. Yeah. Brought to the surface being active. And I feel they really encourage you to kind of fall into this victimhood programming, you know, and, and there is kind of, kind of reawaken the old depression. And if you're kind of loop into that, you lose a lot of time to everyone here is our vested. And I see it, you know, even, even the more like, having more allegiance with uh, Freemasonry and, you know, who, who, who might have like some knowledge and some, but, but, but still they are not like um, fully like, uh, like going over the game themselves, you know, everybody's under these rule. And if you're a spirited being, they, they want to harvest your energy and your, your abilities and, and use you and make your life as miserable as possible because it's this fear farm thing, right? With the, the idea of the reset where they, they kind of upgrade really. And I think that's what they do also with kind of uploading us and then memory wiping us. So they upload, they take all the knowledge that we have acquired in a day, all our insight and realization, but they we, we are disadvantaged because they are memory wiping us, but they, they use this knowledge and they create like new new backdrop, higher frequency backdrop, you know, like a better simulacrum. Like that's you're gonna, it's yeah. your next challenge to to overcome. And it gets more complex. Of course, the things that were working like 10 years ago, they don't work anymore with you because you see through, but this this system has always, always new layers and it's infinite. So you upgrade the system and they use they plugged the kind of upload us like we are we are kind of 
you know, like in the matrix, like this cable. Sometimes because of the density here, we don't see like the, the, the beauty and the splendor of some beings. Because, you know, if you just manage to be like relatively like sane and uh, mentally stable, kind of, you know, we all have our difficulties and our disorder and, you know, this distraction, ADHD or genetic weaknesses too. That's why health is important. But if, we, if we're doing good, kind of managing to not be overwhelmed by our daily life, then that's already like much better than the majority of reels. Not, not all the backdrops who kind of can create this like infinite content, you know, because they don't have to battle the same rules as we do. So I think if, we, if we're doing that, we are already can give ourselves like a tap on the back because it's already a great job. And, you know, it takes a lot to see through the density and to also recognize the other oh. high frequency being who, who are there. I would say it's extremely hard to kind of game the game or succeed, you know, but it's possible. Uh, I think they really, you know, they really want you also to to feel this way. And uh, there are many days where I feel this way. I feel like, um, you know, it's really hard to kind of manifest positive things. And uh, because we have, we have also all these negative core belief from which we manifest too. So it's, um, it's really complex, but I, 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 I'm making of my life like, a, you know, a study of programming uh, and, you know, creates, some content also that may help other if, 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 if they resonate with such and many fire creation beings are not like resonating with these levels of like deceit and kind of really going. So yeah, then you find also that idea in the, in the transhumanist kind of agenda, which I, I did study for a while, but then I kind of took, took distance because I know this also how programmed the people spreading that message are and how it was programming my own mind. Now, I think our job, you know, is to be the magnificent beings that we are trying to, you know, incarnate the most beauty, the more splendor, the most joy, which joy is really difficult here. I'm, I'm just like in kindergarten <laughs> with that, you know, um, especially, you know, when you quit all these kind of mind altering substances, like, you know, like coffee or, or, you know, that can make you connect to like a more artificial kind of, like it, it kind of created, but it also depletes you. And then, yeah, I definitely noticed that um, a lot of, you know, a lot of our life is managed by this like survival, fear programming, like money related, time related, right? And, and it's really hard because you, you, your body, your body is designed to kind of have fear when when these needs are, are triggered so you have to overcome and and kind of make a choice you know no I'm not gonna sacrifice myself in this boring work or where I have this ender uh, boss who really just just it, it's just torture you know for there, there are many situations where it's just torture and also, sometimes just exchanging with backdrop, it can be torturous because you find yourself in distress that, you know, you, you never get further. Like, you know, their 3D reality, if that is all there is, it, it's disastrous. So, um, and, and at the same time, the, the kind of architect, they wait for your own mistakes and for your own, like, blind angles and your own creation you know like if you like when you have like really hard things happen to you in your reality you know it's you, you know you have to be really conscious with your thoughts not to want to to kind of end yourself or destruct self-destruct you know because you find it so difficult here especially all these people we see on the public stage like many of them are not spirited they are just there to polarize the, the real mm -hmm. spirited fire creation so I think you know kind of coming back to that neutrality kind of that like high frequency neutrality truly that's where you know I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite functional when I'm there you know I, I, I try not to get too polarized
advice for one thing or so is that the more you are kind of public trying to reach out to other real and trying to kind of bring things around deprogramming you know the level of targeting trying to discourage you kind of like increase this and then when like you have like this bit hit operation you know like you can have like maybe i don't know once every two three years you have like this big crossroads where up it collapses then you know it kind of can reveal to the surface kind of dormant programming or it can also be really else related to like it kind of play on 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 different like like levels i'm also kind of always want uh, we'd want to kind of try again you know and get back on my feet and not fall for um the, the self-destruction i think we all had to deal with like heavy layers they are programmed this way of self-destruction so i think at a certain point you're like yeah, I'm not going to do that to me again. It's really not nice towards myself. And I think we all did like really huge pro pro progress. You know, we've got alters also who are very programmed to kind of lead us like in the mouth of the beast or things like that. And it's interesting for me. I just want to be like feeling in my body where I'm functional and then I can kind of this like high frequency neutrality. And from there I can operate and I'm always going to look for new openings, but I'm also trying not to be reactive, you know, trying to build from like, you know, like when, when doors close, maybe it's a time for pausing and kind of, for me it is for the moment and kind of retrieving and kind of not like engage so much and kind of observe and 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 maybe reflect on 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 all these program reactions because there are so many you know so many and and still so much around is not what it what it um what it looks like it is you know so and you know even if i done a good job with with a lot of decluttering like there is still many areas in my life where i can do much better you know yesterday mm -hmm. for, for for moon i was kind of working on the kitchen I, I didn't for me it was hard to take that time like take these three hours just to kind of review kitchen and clean it out uh, like you know like just all the boxes that you're using and, and but it felt really good you know and I had a like a really low drama full moon as well because I didn't engage a lot with uh, with uh, whatever exterior you know mm. so it's, it's what it was a good time like a, a good way to to do and you know, diffuse essential oils is, is great, you know, it's especially, you know, I, I diffuse a lot of orange because it, it's cheap and you can buy these big bottles, but you can also like diffuse lavender, like for calming anxiety or even for your pets, you know, if they have like anxieties, and like, you know, and uh, that's where they want to kind of, uh, that's how I design to kind of trap the fire creation spirit into believing, yeah, just don't look further, just live this 3D life and keep your underground life for, for yourself because most of fire creation are, are aware, but, you know, if they share it with backdrop, the backdrop don't resonate. So it kind of mirror that thing, like I'm yeah. not normal or what is wrong with me. Mm -hmm. So of course also, you know, cellular detoxification diet can help a lot. Mm -hmm. I think uh, going for walks, sweating, you know, with sauna, with hot baths or, then you can add like different things receiving a massage from any asian practitioner you know the chinese type of massage tuna are, are great um you know tr yeah trying to pay attention to our thoughts and spending time maybe with, with some animals that are friendly that are not too ai controlled <laughs> just there to interrupt you all the time where you get a sense of fulfillment like i think for fire creation it's like what do you get out of it? Do you get your own needs met? And we kind of we kind of forget or do things for others. Sometimes these others are backdrops. So this is like the irony to do things for <laughs> to please the backdrops, right? We are programmed to want to please the backdrops. So I'm gonna do my best and I'm gonna I'm gonna work hard to to be happy and to have a happy life. I had like a very happy year in uh, last year in 2021 it was my my happiest year so you know i'm building on it uh i know it's possible you know it, it's like phases we have 
So I'm, I'm going to do my best. Uh, then I don't know exactly how it's going to turn out. Um, I think it's very unpredictable, you know, um, and, and our belief don't, don't protect us from, from what anything can happen. It, it, I think it's the never, like it's changing as we are changing. That's why they really don't want certain people to meet or certain conversation to take place because it does change it's as they can affect the timelines we also can and we do we do we do a lot you know you know you put a seed in someone's consciousness and then it's gonna grow it's gonna they they you know that's certainly exists existing too sometimes if we have this like magical being in our life spend time with them instead of time with like non non nourishing relationship and also say no to some of the proposition from the backdrop right and uh set set better boundaries with them or from from with people who are but but the magical aspects are definitely with uh with 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 other interesting beings you know then you kind of access like different like multiverses together or in co-creation in in exploring together and that's that's definitely something that's um that's driving me find your people right when I've got my people around me, like I, I feel much more happy, you know, much happier, much more stable mentally. And from there I can really function and, and, and happy tribe is, it can also be like really great pets, you know? And I feel it doesn't take a lot, right? If you have like two, three good friends around you, like present in your physical reality, then, then you also have this connection online, but you also need to have like them in your physical geographical relationship or yes. our good practitioner. Now I've been also working with backdrops where I wouldn't get results, but um, but of course my preference is gonna be with like fire creation therapist or 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 reflexologist or and I feel there is like a, when you have like a certain percentage, then it kind of alleviate the pressure and you're like oh yeah here in my life I'm, I'm good and from there I can deal with whatever crap is happening to me if I have like this kind of stable beings also around me but then when it gets reduced for example then it has an effect on on on, on mental health and it's like oh how can I generate that again and I think you have to get it like from your core and managed you created it once so it, it's possible so yeah. it takes a, a little bit of time and kind of maneuvering the traps also but some details you know you forget because when i re listen to all recordings of mine i'm like oh yeah i totally had forgotten about that, that that's why sometimes it's good like to kind of retrieve a little bit or really choose carefully what we connect because if not like that's like overwhelming and our nervous system are already yeah. i think that's why they need kind of a great because you know we kind of get used to the new things that are imposed on us it's with like 5g and stuff so they kind of always need to kind of upgrade it to the next like because we also kind of remember more and even if we are memory wipe there is like some types of knowing that you kind of you kind of keep because if not you 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 know you would never progress at all it, yeah I, i'm making progress with these tasks <laughs> but, but i i save them you know i don't keep them all open like i i put some yeah you know or they're saved but i will come back to them later when i was and i have more energy and i also have learned to kind of stop myself at some point and say okay now that's enough because then it's it, it's endless you know like and with my like kind of obsessive like uh patterns i i could you know i i kind of learn to kind of navigate them a bit better where i say yeah i've got that's enough like just close the tab and <laughs> never you will forget about it once you close it so i had uh, things where i i was fearing for my life you know like for example in the sea or i was kind of getting like taken by the waves and someone helped me or uh, things like that but uh, but I had people close to me dying and I think it's different for it like I've been thinking about that lately you know like when backdrop dies like they don't get like they, they don't have the spark so they, they they're not uh, you know it's the end like, you know it, it has only this life like it's it's a template maybe they reuse like kind of the software 
and implant it like partially into other people and then mm -hmm. you know you backdrop get programmed a lot by their culture like like ourselves like by their culture and their environment and when they are born that's for sure but if you are like fire creation dying uh then you know it depends if they are able to make their way out of here, if they are aware of the traps or if they are not. And so some of them are recycled back in the game to be harvested again. And you know, it might be like a cycle because of, you know, you fall for the guilt, maybe the religious programming you have not done. Well, yeah, anything that would work and it would be different for, for different people. And then you have the ones who have like kind of learned their lesson and they kind of done. And then they have, it depends what they have chosen for themselves. If they have like built this kind of safe place where they will kind of reflect on their opportunities and, and then choose what they are, you know, what they will be up to next. Uh, but the definitely goal is to kind of uh, see through the traps so you you know you can choose a little bit more consciously um, and and make the best of 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 our time here there is like the the white tunnel trap but then also like i was saying like the guilt programming you know i think can be a big one or or the savior you know if you haven't been conscious of your own savior implant you know they can trap you with any of that i think they really will use whatever they can or you know yeah with trapped you with with loved ones it's very specific they it's like it's like how they engineer our life here it's also very specific you know what works for me is not what's gonna work for you and uh, so they they kind of take that in consideration and i think they kind of generate like backdrops especially for for us like new kind of like upgraded counterfeit version uh, to kind of keep up with, with where you're going or, or take you by your sweet spot. Um, and I think even for the heart attack, you know, because they kind of beam like radiation to you or when you have like people psychically attacking you, it kind of can target your heart. So sometimes it's like a weakening. So if you don't do anything to kind of heal your heart, yeah, you, you know, at some point it's going to play against you. And, and yeah. what I also been really interested in, and I find it very complex is like when you have like fire creation beings who left the body. So you have only the envelope left, but you have like a signature of a, a fire creation spirit. So these are the, but now they are mostly AI run because they nothing inside. And for that, I have, I have had endlers like that who kind of uh, sold their spirit like a, a, a few incarnation before. And I met people who in this life, their spirit's gone. So, um, you know, it can be pets, but it can be other human beings. And then, you know, you kind of can relate and get some substance out of it, but there's something missing. Like, like uh, it's not like the whole signature. I think uh, in the case that I've, um, I, I don't know what happened um, to the ones I've met. I've met three different, uh, so I don't know where they are. That's the next question. You know, yeah, the, I know about the envelope, but the spirit, I think it's specific, you know, for a, a, a everyone. Um, it's going to be like, a, yeah, a, a study of that, that's very specific case. And, and that's where, that's why we never get all the answers because there's always so much more. You know? Yeah. When you have more space, right? Because, because if you're in pain or suffering in your body, you know, you have no energy or you, yeah. health is a great way to kind of manage depression, at least to some degree, you know, yeah, and if you're not in life. this depressed state, then your, 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 your day life is your, your daytime you know, time is going to be different and yep. you, you're going to have more energy. If you, if you eat less density, you know, you, you have more space, you're not digesting all the time, or if yeah. you quit stimulant, which like mess up with your, your, your nervous system that is already dealing with so much, then your, your life get different. And coffee does sidetrack you a lot. Like you're more easily sidetracked because you just dopamine run and your days are going to be different. So I feel like all of this really, really helped me so much, and um, yeah, make make you. Know, it's a way to make space, create space, have more energy available, uh, be yeah. more like resilient, you know. Also with the targeting.